Okay everyone, in this video what we're going to talk about is mulching. Now mulching is super important because of what it does for your beds. Now whether it's a flower bed or a vegetable garden, mulching and amending your soil and your beds is what's the most important thing. Like I've mentioned in other videos, your soil is the foundation of your garden and your plants deplete your soil. So you have to continuously amend your soil. I amend my soils twice a year. Okay, right off the bat, there are many different types of mulch. You've got hardwood mulch, pine bark mulch, uh, compost, red and black dyed mulch. Never put dyed mulches in your garden, ever. Now, certain companies will use different types of chemicals to dye their mulch. What you wanna do is research the bag or the company if you're gonna do dyed mulch, but I highly recommend never putting a dyed mulch in your garden. Keep that in the flower beds um, so the neighbors can see how good your flower beds look. Don't put it back, don't put it in your garden at all, please. So two of the benefits of mulching would be moisture or water retention in your beds and then the added nutrients being put into your soil or amending your soil. Now what I like to do is put compost down as a mulch. I'll put a layer of compost over the bed, about an inch usually, and then I'll come back over with a hardwood mulch. Now the reason I use mulch over top of the compost is because I want different nutrients getting down into the soil. And hardwood mulch has different nutrients than say compost. So I wanna hit my soil beds with a lot of nutrients. So I'm only, only amending twice a year. Okay, so now that I've explained what the benefits of mulching are and why you should mulch, let's go ahead and do it. This is really easy. Mulching is important and it doesn't take a lot of time. But what can get tedious is all the bags that you have to buy or going to the big box store and trying to figure out what you're gonna get. My advice, two things, compost and a hardwood mulch. Now, if you have plants that need more of an acidic soil or a higher acid rate in their soil, consider using pine bark mulch or maybe a mixture of hardwood mulch and pine bark mulch, um, something like that. You could play with the ratios and again, do what's best for you. Okay, so I'm sitting next to my potato bed. Now, I need to mulch this bed. I've mulched some of the other beds as you've already seen in this, at the beginning of this video, but it's time to mulch this bed. Now, potatoes need their soil, need the soil to stay moist, not dry at top, not dry at the bottom, they need it to stay moist. So again, part of mulching is that moisture retention in the soil. And how that works is when the sun is beaming down on your bed, it's not drying out the bed. It's only drying out that top layer. So think of mulch as like a blanket on top of your soil that's keeping the moisture down and the sun and the heat away. Think of it that way. So what I'm gonna do now is mulch this flower, this potato bed I'm gonna put down a layer of compost and then a layer of hardwood mulch over top of it. So let's do it. I do want to show you the difference. This is hardwood mulch. Th these are trees that have been ground up twice, that have gone through a grinder twice. So there can be little chunks like this in there. But for the most part, there's so much nutrients in all that, in all those fines that you see in there, that that's gonna go down into the soil and just give it such a boost of nutrients. And if these pieces are too big for you, just take them out and throw them away. Okay, everyone, and there it is. That this is how I amend my gardens right here. Every one of these raised beds, I've already done this to. The added benefits to spending the time to do this will be astronomical down the road when you're getting those big harvests and those big fruits or those big vegetables. You're gonna just be so happy that you took the time to amend everything. You can use compost as a top mulch. You don't have to then come back over with a hardwood mulch or a pine bark mulch or whatever. You can just compost everything. Me, again, I like to add two things to my soil to just help it more. 
That's me, that's my preference. Again, whatever works for you, do it. Go with it and rock and roll. All right, everybody, so that's the video. Now, mulching is not hard to do. It's, it's actually really simple, but it, but it can be very tiring. I'm not gonna lie, when you're moving all these bags around, it can get tiring and overwhelming sometimes. Um, I use my gorilla cart to transport everything around this backyard. I am not picking stuff up and hurting my back. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. So I don't wanna beat a dead horse here, but when you're talking about your soils, your soil is, is the foundation of your garden. So if you are not amending your soil, you're doing yourself a very big disservice. And I would personally hate for you to get discouraged with gardening because stuff's not growing. That's why I do these videos. That's why I'm trying to share everything that I've learned. Um, and that's why I show my mistakes also. I want people to learn. I want everyone to learn together, me included, because I'm learning also. If y'all enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it, do me a favor and share it. Hit the like button. If you like the content of this video or any of the other videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're looking for something to just see pictures of what's going on in the garden, um, I post almost every other day to both the Instagram page and the Facebook page. Just type in Down Home Backyard Gardening. You'll find me on both those websites. And everyone, I want you to continue gardening, having fun. If you have comments or ideas or tricks in any of the videos that you've seen or in this video, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I read all the comments. I try to respond to everybody. And um, I just like the dialogue that comes with the YouTube gardening community. It's, it's a lot of fun, I'm learning. So thank you for everyone who has commented on videos or continues to keep the dialogue going. As I like to say at the end of all my videos, shine bright and harvest hard. Bye. Important thing about mulching, one important thing about your mulches and your, and your compost is you need to know where they come from. I used to work for this company so I can vouch for this company. I know. Okay, now, let's, let's start right off the bat. There are many, many different types of mulch. You've got hardwood mulch, pine mulch, uh, black and red colored dyed mulch. You don't want to put dyed. We're not even near the airport here. I just, I don't...